Now that you have successfully set up Philips Mobile Cardiac Telemetry, MCOT, this video will provide instructions on how to remove MCOT from your body, how to charge MCOT, other important information, and guidance for returning the equipment. While MCOT is designed to stay on your skin for up to five days, you will receive an alert on your monitor, which is the phone, when it is time to change the patch. You will also receive an alert when it is time to charge the sensor. When you receive these alerts, you will need to follow the steps in this video or the patient education guide, which can be found in your kit. First, turn off the monitor by holding down the power button. Then, remove MCOT from your chest by slowly pulling the patch away from your body. Now that MCOT has been removed, you will now need to remove the sensor from the patch. Apply downward pressure on the blue tab to snap it off. This may require some force. Next, hold the sensor as shown and gently slide it towards the tab to remove it from the patch. After the sensor is removed, discard the used patch, but keep the sensor. You will reuse the sensor on a new patch after it is charged. Over the course of your monitoring service, both the sensor and the monitor will need to be charged. It is now time to charge the sensor. First, locate the sensor charging cable in box two. Connect the sensor to the charging cable and plug it into an outlet as shown. Charging may take approximately 90 minutes and it is complete when the sensor light turns solid green. Please ensure the sensor is completely charged before applying another patch. The monitor needs to be charged daily or when you receive a low battery alert on the monitor. To charge the monitor, locate the charging cable in box two. Next, connect the monitor to the charging cable and plug it into an outlet as shown. Charging is complete when the battery icon on the screen appears full. After charging is complete, you are ready to reapply MCOT to your chest. Insert the sensor into a new patch located in box two and reattach MCOT to your chest. For guidance on how to reinsert the sensor into a patch or how to reapply MCOT, please refer to the setup instructional video or the patient education guide. MCOT is intended to be used under the direction of a healthcare professional for diagnostic purposes only and is not an emergency response system. The monitor cannot be used to make outgoing calls, even during an emergency. If you experience a symptom that you feel is a medical emergency, call 911 for medical assistance. MCOT is water resistant, not waterproof. You may shower and exercise while wearing your MCOT, but please avoid activities that involve submerging MCOT underwater, such as swimming or taking a bath. As you wear MCOT, the monitor may send a message or alert to you to complete an action. The messages and alerts are meant to assist you and will provide guidance on what action should be taken for each alert. Finally, if you experience discomfort from the patch any time during your monitoring service, you may use the alternative wear option located in box three. For guidance on how to apply with alternative wear option, please refer to the instructional manual in box three. For additional support and helpful tips, please refer to the patient education guide provided in the kit. The day after your monitoring service is complete, a message will appear on the monitor to return the equipment. Failure to return may result in a bill for the cost of the equipment. To prepare the equipment for shipping, first, power off the monitor. Place the sensor, monitor, monitor case, unused patches, and charging cables back into the kit. Then remove the prepaid shipping envelope provided in the kit and place the packed kit into the prepaid shipping envelope and ship back to Philips. If you have additional questions or concerns throughout your monitoring service, please refer to the patient education guide provided in the kit. Contact patient services at 1-866-426-4401. Or chat with a representative online anytime at myheartmonitor.com.